Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will see how we can create beautiful and awesome charts for UI with ease without much complexity. You must have seen lots of software applications where we have dashboards and we represent data in different kind of charts like bar chart, pie chart and it is an important part of the application because when a user visit to the dashboard, they must see data represented in a beautiful manner and this is what actually UI is. So if you are a UI developer or someone who is looking how to build a, a chart, watch this video till end. For a developer, it becomes confusing uh, whether to focus more on the logic part or you should focus more on creating these designs part for the charts. So today in this video, we'll see how exactly we can utilize uh, Sidechain UI latest charts and we can build awesome charts with ease and less complexity. Now coming to the Sidechain UI, one of the latest uh, CSS library that has been emerged in 2024 and you will see mostly everyone is using that Talvin CSS. Sidechain UI under the hood uses Talvin CSS and all this component that provides uh, is built on uh, Talvin and this chart component is also built on that. Now coming to the chart component that is being provided by Sidechain UI, it under the hood usage recharts. So recharts is a different uh, library. If you want to know more about rechart, then you can visit this and you can see how exactly it works. But here in the side chain, they use rechart and create a wrapper chart container. And with this, they create a uh, stunning, beautiful uh, charts. So today in this video, uh, I will be uh, giving you an overview and then also I will implement this into a Next.js application and will show you how exactly you can utilize this new component if you're looking to build beautiful charts. They have provided the steps like how we can use this, but there is a catch and some missing steps are there. So watch the video till end and now let's get started into the development part. I have already created a Next.js boilerplate application and it's using Telvin CSS. It's running live on port 3000. I have just added this text for now. I will implement this and we'll see. So the first step is saying that we need to run this command in our terminal. But actually, if you will run this command directly, it will give an error and we'll see that. And I will also tell you what exactly we need to do. So if I go there and now we'll run this command and it will give an error that uh, there is no init. So what we need to do is first we need to do an init for search uh, and UI and we need to run this command and it will ask if you want default or something else and we run the default and it will create a component dot uh, JSON file you will see. So yeah, it just created this component that JSON file and now we will have to run this command and it will be able to install the chart component. So if you will go to the package.json, you will see that it will install it into the dependency. So yeah, now we can see that we have this uh, chart recharts that it is using under the hood. And also you will see that uh, here we have a component folder now and this component folder is having two component card.tsx and chart.tsx. So this chart.tsx is what exactly uh, this session UI provides as a wrapper. Like you can see it is having chart config and it is also having chart container. And these two are the component that we can export and use in our application as a wrapper. So now what I will do will go to the documentation. So next it says is that we have to go and copy and paste this CSS into the root CSS. If I go to the global CSS, uh, there's already these uh, CSS. If you're using Talwind as a boilerplate, you will see that you already have the chart one, two, three, and for the dark mode also we'll have. This. So we don't need to actually put this into our CSS. It is already there. Next thing is that we have to create a, a chart data then We'll have to create a chart config and then we'll have to uh, use a container that I just showed you in the component and we'll wrap it and we'll see. So what I will do now, first I will do is uh, import these two things. I will put it into the page dot TSS component where I will be demoing this. 
and you can see that uh, this is pointing to the this component that it just created if i go click here then it will redirect to this part and next what we'll do we'll create the chart data or uh, this is the sample data it provides i will copy and paste for now and next thing we have to do is we need to create a chart config so i will copy paste this as well and i will use this sample code as of now uh, this chart container that we have imported and this bar chart that it is showing so i'm going to put the chart uh, code into this div wrapper here uh, and now if we'll go to the ui uh, we will have our chart actually so if you go here so it's saying super extension must be a null or uh, function all right so i got the issue now uh, why this error is happening uh, i'm using nextjs uh, page and i need to put use client here and this error will go so now this is compiling successfully and the chart will be there in the ui so you can see we have the short component uh, coming and it's looking uh, beautiful and we have been able to represent this data uh, into a chart component with much ease uh, rather than using a native uh, rechart or some other chart like high charts and as a developer i will say it is important you should know how to debug the code and how to find a fix for the error too like for this case we were missing this use client and now finally things are working and the compilation is successful and we can see how we can actually use uh, this session chart component uh, into our project so you need to install the packages you need to do the init for component.json and then you can utilize this code and you want to understand more about how it's working then you can go into the components ui and see this chart.tsx where it is providing the wrapper and you can utilize this into any of the component or pages where you are using i'll provide this sample code with you so we can see now that with much ease we are able to create these awesome charts and this is a cool component i will say there are lots of other options that you can provide and things will be much smoother like you can also provide tool tips and on hovering uh, this data will appear like you can see how you can add tool tip and how this will appear so you can play with this uh, search in ui and chart component and as i have explained and gave you the demo on how you can use this uh, it will be helpful for you do let me in the comment section uh, what kind of videos do you want me to make and thanks for watching the video see you soon in the next video